God morning, God afternoon, God evening, wherever it is that you are on this planet. How are you today? My name is Jessica, and today I am coming to you as a driver. Um, I drive to an Uber and Lyft, and so what I want to talk to you about today is um, safety. Um, when I put on my app, I turn it on, I go through the regular motions that you go through, right? But the difference between me and possibly the other driver is I, you know, receive the ride here, and I have a book. I got my book. Books that I keep my uh, log in, and the log that I keep, I have. I wrote. I have the Uber on there, taped onto a little vinyl book that you get out of the dollar store or uh, Walmart, whatever it is. And I just bought this book here. I mean, this one is for Lyft, and so. What I do is I keep a log of my day, my daily activity. Right? Um, I keep what day it is and um, what time I pick them up, the miles on my car, uh, what time I start, what time um, it is that I, um, okay, uh, what time I start. And then um, where I start at, and then once I um, do that, like on this day it was the 25th of February, and I put how many miles I had on as far as I rented the car, and uh, and so any cars that I drive, I keep the track of the, the miles and everything, and um, so for this I I. Put the name of the person. PU means where I pick them up at. DO means where I drop them off at. And the city and time that I pick them up and the city I drop them off and where I drop them off at. I don't need their last name because when I call in, um, Uber has their uh, records. And so this is another page. This is showing you. Every time I rent a car, and so when I get in it with my day, um, I put, let's see, let's go to another one. Here, hold on. Okay. Right. Okay, so that's the pandemic. I said I disinfected my car. And before I start, I do all this before I start. And I was doing this before the pandemic began. I would send my car up, I would wipe the seat belt down, I would wipe the seat down, I would spray it, I would wipe the handle off, and um, I would offer bottles of water, which would be sitting in the door, and um, I would make sure that they're comfortable when they're, driving, when they're riding in my car. Um, and so when I get finished, I'm going to have, like, different passengers uh, between rides, and I would spray down the, the car, I would wipe, you know, the seat, and I would still be cleansing my car, so I'm always, I don't want my car to be clean now. Um, i seen a video where it was on Facebook where a guy was an Uber driver, and his car was full of roaches. Uh, nobody should be driving with their car contaminated like that. It's ridiculous. You keep a, a clean car. Don't ride around with yourself dirty. You wonder why I keep people getting sick. Anyway, um, okay. So here I wrote um, how much gas is in my car, which was the order of thing, and um, what time I got home, and I wrote what time I finished, the miles that I put on the car by the end of the day, and how many miles I had left uh, to the gallon of gas that I had in my car that was left. 
people always ask me, why do I keep a log? Um, I keep a log for personal reasons, but I suggest to everybody, this is with lips, I do the same thing with lips. I suggest to everybody, you know, uh, to keep a log because, A, you don't know where you're going. You might not know the area. B, you don't know who you're picking up. Um, and you can give an approximate time that you pick them up versus the time they actually order the ride. It's easy for them to go back down and look at where it is. And if there's problems with the rider, um, you know, you can say, um, I picked this person up. And say, if somebody comes, you know, there are a lot of people that order rides for other people. And if Sue, let's say if Sue ordered a ride for John, and you don't know John is getting in your car, you have to look and hit ain't one. So you write down, I write down different riders. One rider gets me my car, and I ask the rider, what is that person's name? So that I can put that long underneath the person who ordered the ride. And then, um, uh, so that won't, there won't be no, no issue. And, um, the other thing is, you know, that be freezing up. You know, it doesn't always give you the correct um, location. It doesn't send you uh, where you supposed to actually go all the time. And um, the other time, it just it, it um, doesn't pay out like you're supposed to um, because it may switch up on you. Then um, you might have to reboot your phone. You might have to... Um, you have the written down for your protection, because uh, again, you don't ever know who's getting in your car. Um, I do uh, spiritual work for missing persons for return and retrieval, and so for me, this would be a good log. Even if you're a writer, I, I don't suggest that. Even if you're a writer, you know, keep logs every day, and then um, that way, you know, you won't have any issues. You know, you can put. This writer wanted me to bring a non-service animal in the car, and then they go talking about you can bring your animal with you, um, with him on the ride. You can explain to him why they're not supposed to be, um, they're not supposed to be riding. And and I had that issue before, where a lady just blatantly flat out said, "Oh yeah, it's a service animal." After I said, "After I said it is a service animal," the only reason why you can have your your dog with you as a service animal, and then she first said, no, it wasn't a service animal, then she turned around and changed it, and said, yeah, so she didn't die. So you want to make sure that, you know, you um, keep records of what's going on with your ride and what's going on with you when you um, are driving and pick up locations, drop off locations, and, and if you had made any stops in between, you know, or which you're not supposed to, unless the ride has an extra stop in between. But, um, so I keep a log, you know, for all those reasons that, you know, and plus if there's like uh, some sort of accident or incident that happens, you can, you have to call through the app 911 through the app and tell them, you know, who it is and who you had in your car or if you had anybody in your car, where it is and what time, and what day, and all of that, and, and so you can report this, and, um, because Uber, or Lyft, or Postmates, or whoever you're, uh, going to work for, they will, um, ask you door dash, any of them, so my thing is that, you know, you should be, um, a little more, uh, I would say, a little more, um, up on how you're doing your own business, uh, pretty much what it is. Um, so, anyway, this is my little message for you who's ever doing Uber Live, Uber Dash, um, Postmates, um, uh, Uber Eats, whatever it is, you want to keep your, your log, and then that way you won't have no issues. So, have a blessed day. God's afternoon, God's evening, God's morning to you.